Hey everyone, uh, back here with Sean's Trains and I've got a little layout update for you guys. So I'm going to flip this around real quick and we can take a look. So we've made some more progress. Um, I should say I've made more progress, but I consider you guys too. So we've made more progress on the layout. <clears throat> uh, I've made a couple alterations to the plan. Uh, nothing major, but we've got this cut out along here. So this will come out and I can add the risers to that. <clears throat> We've got the cross braces in all the way down to there. So that's half the layout with cross braces and two-thirds of the layout with the tops cut correctly. Um, I'll get back to the bridge in a minute. But I need to lay out that guy real quick and then I need to get these guys done. And I can start laying track over here as per the plan. <clears throat> So right here, I was going to make this a lift-up bridge, and I ended up putting the kibosh on that because then I wouldn't have been able to put this bridge here, and after realizing that, you know, okay, two crossovers here wouldn't have been the worst thing for the main line, but for the branch line, uh, for switching the yard and the industries, that would have been a huge pain, and I want to just not have that. So I decided not to do a lift-out. <clears throat> Once I'm out of the layout... Um, I can operate three trains and operate everything except for the central location there. So going in, and, going in and out the few times during an op session I might have to wouldn't be the worst thing. So I decided that I'm going to take the hinges off, bolt this thing back shut, and cut the rest of this out. So this will come back up to four inches, <clears throat> or three to four inches, and then the grade down to the switches. So I'll come up from two inches there, or approximately two inches, um, actually it'll be just inside the switches right about here and it'll come up I've got from the end of the station all the way to the end of this bridge to get up to three and a half inches and then from here all the way up to there to get up to six and a half inches or six inches that's that'll be fine too so this will be a better grade than this is currently I'll be a much better grade that will be kind of steep um, but I don't have to worry about any excess height cars under the bridge. So if I don't quite get to three inches, that's fine. But this will be a nice three, three and a half, maybe a four percent grade tops. Um, that'll be quite doable for the rolling stock and the trains that I'll be running. Um, they won't be massively long trains. I'm thinking 15, uh, 15 to 20 cars for a regular stock, and then probably like a dozen, you know, like auto racks or anything else that's longer. <clears throat> So I still have to put my addition on here, which will include the yard. So that's two feet. So when I, I'll just get a couple extra boards, and right about here, this will get expanded. And what I'm gonna, the, the goal is to just line it up with this here wall. That's the plan. So I had to clean out some from under, some stuff from underneath the layout to get the boards in, <clears throat> as you can see right here in front of it. And then that corner is gonna be a real pain to do because I can't add screws from the outside. I won't be able to reach it. Uh, at least not easily, so that's going to be a real trip. Um, that one i got to see if I can find a 45 degree bracket to install the cross braces on. But We'll pull through, <clears throat> get that taken care of. I'm sorry I keep coughing a little bit, I'm trying to clear my throat. Uh, it's early in the morning yet, for me anyways. And uh, <clears throat> every time I wake up I got, I've got crap in my throat, so I'm trying to get some of that out some of that out so we've got the risers in i'm just using some uh, leftover one by four from the lumber yard to add these in this is just in place for the moment you can see i've got a riser there that is the final height and then i've got a riser here i'll add another one in right here in every place that there's an opportunity to add one i will and all the sections or the joints here, I'm going to add another riser on each side. There'll be a piece underneath to keep this all stuck together, but once the track is down, this will be removed and it'll be drilled from underneath at a wider point, so that way I can take it apart later on. Uh, if I go to move the layout, um, I might just leave these here, I don't know. But I'd like to be able to move the whole layout someday if I need to. I can actually put the bridge up. <clears throat> and... Let it sit like so. It's not quite strong enough to do it all on its own <clears throat> and run something across, but this will give me a really nice span to put some track underneath. Um, there'll be a main lane coming through and then part of a logging camp under there, so uh, or a pulpwood camp. So that'll be pretty cool sight to see. 
um, that's it for now. I'm planning on getting tracked down probably for just the branch line to get, begin with um, by the end of July here. Uh, just have something running, something working. Everything else uh, I can probably lay, but I need to get the rest of the stuff for these two bridges done. Um, that one I can see being a little bit easier to do. This one's going to be a little bit tougher. I got a, a lot of measuring, a lot of planting to put stuff in place. But uh, for now, that's it. <clears throat> I did get some stuff in from uh, John Hill of Milepost 70 Customs here. I got my Wisconsin Southern Patched Out Scholar Hopper. I also got four of my Pillsbury cars. And then I've got four cement cars. I can see two over there <clears throat> that have been weathered up. Um, but I'm pretty happy with these. I've been waiting to get these done for a while. I see them on the Wisconsin Southern. Uh, whenever I do see Wisconsin Southern covered hoppers, I always see these, and once in a while I'll see this guy. So I was really happy that he was able to go off some of the photos I actually was able to acquire myself and do this. So I'm really excited about that. <clears throat> and I think for now that's about it. It's just a lot of organizing, a lot of cutting, a lot of cleaning. Um, I try to keep it cleaned up as I go so that way it doesn't pile up into one huge mess. Um, the big thing is going to be making sure I do all the cutting over here correctly because you really only get one chance. Otherwise I'm buying a whole other sheet of plywood which is a hundred bucks right now to buy another sheet of this just to cut it up. So I'm trying not to make any mistakes. That's going to be the trick. Um, but yeah, other than that, everything's going pretty good. I hope you guys are doing alright. I hope you guys are staying safe. Having some fun this summer. It's been a beautiful summer so far here in Wisconsin. So y'all take care and we'll see you next time. Bye.